Hello, welcome to Introduction to Google Tools, Edition Google Drive. Today we'll be going over a few basic items in Google Drive. How to get to your Google Drive, you may ask? Well, it's pretty easy. You click right up here on your Google Box tool, at Google Act Box, then you go right down here to Google Drive. Google Drive is a storage location that's, that's based in the cloud. What that means is that whenever you upload or save something to or create something inside your Google Drive, it's saved on the internet. So wherever you have internet connection, you would then have access to those drives. So all of these different folders and files that I have on my Google Drive, I can access them at my house, I can access them at the library. If I went on vacation to Europe, as long as I had internet connection, I could have access to these files. So Google Drive is very convenient and used in lots of different places in business and um, service organizations and lots of different things um, to help people organize and share files. What we're going to be doing today is learning how to organize your Google Drive as well as um, upload new things to your Google Drive. Those are the two learning goals for today. So the first thing you'll see here is that I've got lots of what are called folders and you'll see like different classes like that is my my DBA class. Everything that's in my DBA class is right here. And everything that's um, for my accounting classes right here, um, so on and so forth, okay? Um, so the first thing you'll want to do is, I'm guessing you have lots of stuff in your Google Drive that um, is just kind of disorganized. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to learn how to create a folder. So you can go right up here to New, Folder, and you can call it, you can really call it whatever you feel like will help you old organize it. You could do really one folder that's called old stuff. I always have an old stuff folder. I don't like deleting things because there's really no reason to because you have on your school account, you have unlimited storage. Okay. And so if you had a bunch of old stuff that you're not really using anymore, you could just, you need to hold down control and click on which ones you want, or you can just click and then drag whatever one you want to do. You can click and drag those into your folder. And then it's kind of organized. You can do a math folder, you can do a science folder, you can do a, a Cedar Middle School or wherever, whatever middle school you were at before this. You can put all your middle school stuff in a folder. You can have a pictures folder. Really, it doesn't matter what your folders are called, um, but you want to have things organized, okay? Um, so the first thing that, um, and if, if you want to, you can go ahead and pause the video and then you can go ahead and, and organize it a little bit so it looks kind of more like mine. It's okay to have some stuff out here if you use it often, uh, but you want to have most of your stuff in folders, okay? So if you want to go ahead and pause the video, go ahead and pause the video and get your Google Drive organized because this is this is one of the screenshots that you'll take at the end um, to turn it into Canvas is to take a screenshot of an organized Google Drive. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully your Google Drive now looks kind of more like mine, has lots of folders and only a few documents out of place. Okay, the next folder we're gonna create, if you haven't already, is gonna go to new again, folder, DBA, and then just call it DBA, digital business applications. I'm gonna call mine student example, just so that I keep my stuff organized. But don't type in student example, you just type in DBA. Okay, then inside that folder, we're gonna click inside of it and there's nothing in this folder yet. We're gonna, and for our whole class, um, all the assignments and things that we put onto Google, we're gonna try to put it inside this, this folder so we can keep, again, keep things organized. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a couple of different folders. Um, number one, uh, we're gonna create today and throughout the class we'll create more folders, and this is just gonna be called Google Intro Assignments. Okay, and then we're gonna go inside that folder and we're going to do a couple more folders. Hopefully you're just following along, just doing it step by step. If I go too fast, feel free to, to pause at any time. Do another folder. And then we're gonna do um, pictures. Do another folder, call them um, PowerPoint. Another folder, um, Excel. Another folder called uh, Word, and I think that's all the folders we'll need. Yep, that's it. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside each of these folders and upload things to them. So let's do Excel first. Click double click on the folder, and there's nothing in this folder yet, but we're gonna put some stuff in there. We're gonna go right up here to New, 
file upload. And then you're gonna go down to your shared drive and then to swallow your teacher. And then our class DBA and then Google assignments right here. And then what folder did we call this? We called it Excel. So we're looking for our Excel file, Microsoft Excel. You can always see your file types right here, right there, then hit open. Good, so now you've got your Excel doc, Excel spreadsheet inside your Excel folder, perfect. And then we're gonna go to our pictures folder and we're gonna do the same thing, new file upload and we're gonna find our pictures. JPEG and PNG are our two main picture types. So we're gonna click on that one. Then we can actually go down control, the bottom left hand key on your keyboard. And we can select all three pictures at the same time, then hit open. You can see over here that they're uploading them one at a time. So sometimes it takes a second. There we go. Got our Reds logo and as well as a picture of my main man, Superman. Okay, we're going back to our other folder. Going to the next one. Hopefully you're kind of getting the hang of it now. New file upload. And if I go too fast, just, just pause it at any time. I'm just kind of moving through this quicker now. Hopefully now we're getting a new file upload. Um, and then this last one's called Word, so then we're gonna get all of our Word ones. Hold down Control again. You can even click and drag if you want to grab multiple of them, and then grab the last one, however you wanna do it, doesn't matter. Okay, so that's, that's all we're gonna do for this part of the assignments. Um, so again, we have our, we've created folders, and now everything is inside separate folders, and everything looks good. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to practice up, uploading a whole folder. So what we're going to do instead of uploading a file, we're going to go up folder upload. And that allows you to upload a whole folder at once. So if we go back to our shared drive, swallow, DBA, instead of going into the folder, we're just going to click on the folder and hit upload. This allows us to upload the entire folder at once. Okay, there we go. And it has all of the files in there. Just in case we needed another uh, another copy of it. It's always better to have three copies than to lose one of them and not have any. Okay, um, so that's, that's it for the assignments. Uh, now all we need to do is to turn it in. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to use our snipping tool. Go right down here to snipping tool. And then hit on, click on new. And then take a screenshot of this. File, save as to your computer, to your 600 drive, call it uh, Google Assignment 1. And then we're going to go back to here and then also um, take a screenshot of this. Same thing, file, save as, save as Google Assignment 2. Last but not least, you'll go back to your main folder. You'll take a snipping tool one last time, new, kind of get the whole thing so I can kind of see that you did the assignment of organizing your drive. File, save as, Google assignment three. And it doesn't really matter if it's one, two, or three, as long as you have all three of them. Save, and then you'll go to Canvas and turn those assignments in. And that's your our first introduction to Google Drive.